In the fourth grade, we went on a class trip to Chinatown, which was fucking dope. I remember after an hour of slurping down soup dumplings by the pound, we were let loose in the streets, greeted by the smell of fish sun-dried in market stalls and the echo of language we couldn't understand. Armed with about $20 each, we were free to buy whatever goodies and treats our little hearts so desired. It so happens that all my little heart desired was a t-shirt. It wasn't anything special, but it had dragons on it, you know? It was cool, I wanted it. So I walked into the shop and I attempted to make the purchase, but I was stopped by some other kid's mom. She said, oh, sweetie, you don't want that. That was made in China. That's off-brand. That's no good. Off-brand. No good. The class of my elementary and middle school was roughly 80% white, so me being half white meant I wasn't white at all, meant the Asian highlights in my DNA was like piss on fresh snow. They only noticed the yellow and didn't want to play anywhere near it, off-brand. No good. But you know what? I was okay with it, because at least I was something. A token slant-eyed peace sign flashing plushie, yes, but chibi enough to get a laugh and get a pass for not being the same as everyone else, for not being the right brand. What's your favorite food? Pork fried rice. Lie. Do you know karate? Ha, <laughs> yes. Lie. Who's your hero? Jackie Chan, duh. Lie but all the lies felt like sake bombs exploding off my tongue, drowning my white classmates in a tsunami of what they told me being Asian meant. Because if I could fit in the kimono they already saw me wearing, it wouldn't matter that those last few lines were all about Japanese culture and I'm Korean. I fit the brand they saw me in. And I saw it that way too. That is, until I got called a white kid by a friend's Chinese exchange student and realized in Asian eyes, I was just as off-brand as I was to my white classmates. Suddenly, 16 years of following my yellow brick road was whitewashed worse than Shyamalan's last airbender. And the path in front of me, the path in front of me doubled back on itself into dead end. What was left was a brand I had never seen before, a bastardization of white and Asian, the bastard child neither parent acknowledges and wish didn't exist. There's no best of both worlds when neither one wants you. There's no community to fall back on when every community you've tried to fall back on focus solely on the different shades in your skin than the base tones shared. There's no good that can come from being nothing, from being off-brand. No good.